So this is actual danger. I'm talking about you as a new EMS provider managing violent patients and mental health patients that can be violent. So I want to share with you, um, we'll talk about mental health patients, how we handle this, all right, and violent patients, how we handle this. The first thing is you never go to a scene that is unsafe, meaning there should be a protocol in your ambulance that if someone is violent or altercation, the scene needs to be cleared by the police first. You as EMS never jump on a scene without being safe. So if you should have police presence either with you or most likely we hope before you get there and they've cleared it, deemed it safe, and now they say, now you enter, right? That's number one. Remember that when you start working. Number two is how do we deal with these, these violent the patients or mental health patients? I want to show you something on the mental health side, a quick tip that can help you out. So this is the way I think about it. Not all the time, but a majority of the time, someone who is a mental health patient either has caregivers around them or they could be, for example, uh, in a home, like a group home setting, or they could be in a facility, for example. So the first level here, and I'll put a little list here on the side so you can see it. Level one, basically, is trying to get the patient to essentially, lack of a better word, folks, just you know, calm down and stop the violent act by the staff speaking with them first. That's step one. Staff tries. Number two. Number two, level two is okay, now EMS is going to come in, we're going to get down to the level, and we're going to try to assist them to calm the patient down, just speaking with them, trying to, to ration what's going on. Number two. If that doesn't work, we go to step three. Step three is now bring in the PD to then have a chat with them, right? Step four is one final push from staff to try to get this patient to, you know, if they're being what we call paper EMS, which means you're going to hospital, but right? you have to go to the hospital. A, a doctor has said you are ordered to go to the hospital due to your mental health condition, right? Level four is with staff tries. After that, this is where we have to get into the unfortunate uh, event of restraining patients and or chemical restraining patients if they are hurting themselves or other people.